Door News is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Stay cool. I am awesome. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... I'm always like, hey Comet, where did you come from? Why are you mad at us, Comet? Do you remember Comet Ison? <laughs> How could I forget? It's like your first root canal. You'll never forget that experience. It sure is nifty at how shifty is in being thrifty. Comet Ison is alive. Comet Ison is dead. Comet Ison is alive. Comet Ison is undead. What is the deal, man? Hey, guess what? I'm back. I am the Indiana Jones of pseudo-astronomy. And here we go. All right, it is now time for a Thor News Bare Bones breakdown of all the new info since last episode. Well, here I am using my Jedi Force intuition to update you on a subject that could become highly fascinating. Did a video back on it about a week or two ago. We are talking about Comet 2014 Q2 Lovejoy. Dance, 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 dance on the radio. All right, now what's great about this comet is that it is predicted to reach a five point magnitude, 5.0 magnitude in the middle of January. Why am I talking to you about it now? Because it is at a 6.5 apparent magnitude on December 13, 2014. Puppy is way ahead of schedule. Comets are like dirty cat dragon snowballs that'll steal your lunch money, sucker punch you in the short pants, and then leave fake horrible reviews about you on eBay, <laughs> right? That's that's an exact quote from Don Yeomans of NASA. Asterisk. That quote may not be an exact quote from Don Yeomans. Ooh, I'm getting my dance on. As you'll see at the chart we're looking at. Visible to typical human eye. 10 magnitude, no. Remember, parent magnitude's like golf. The lower the score, the better the number. Or parent magnitude is like sexually transmitted diseases. The lower amount of partners you've had, the better your chances of not getting one are. All right, that was not a good example. Man, maybe I shouldn't do videos at six in the morning. It's six in the morning, baby. If you were here, I'd be going to get you donuts right now. All right, can you see it at 10? No. Can you see it at nine? No. Can you see it at 8? Nope. Can you see it at 7? No siree, Bob. Somewhere between 6.5 and 7, the human eye can see it. It is now being reported at 6.5. So it is on the very cusp of naked eye visibility. And that has me on the edge of my seat. This could be very big. How big is it, how big is it gonna get? We're talking about another holiday Christmas comet. Who knows, man? Maybe this thing's totally doomy. For all you doom junkies. You sickos. Brightness relative to Vega. And remember, Vega is the star we're headed towards. We being people of planet Earth and the sun. Alright, so they said it would be at a 5 near its perihelion in the middle of January. We were already at a 6.5 and it's not even the middle of December. So that's exciting. We always talk about how big a comet nucleus is. And as we've seen with Rosetta and Filet, professional space agencies are really great about getting the exact size of fake comet down. But as far as real comets go, you know, nobody knows, man. Nobody knows. Like, even the fake comet wasn't sublimating yet. I always wondered why there were no stars in those photos. Interesting fact, the maximum brightness dwarf planet Ceres is allowed to have, which is in the asteroid belt, is a 6.64. And Ceres is 2.77 astronomical units away from Earth. Now, our super comet here, Comet C-2014, Q2, Lovejoy, Q2T, Q2T, Q2T. One of the things I was reading was saying that this comet has been in our solar system before. I'm like, really, dude? It's got an orbit of 11,000 years, which is a very Sedna-like orbit. And you're gonna tell me, been here before? All right, you make your money off telling people exactly how things are, approximately. And I'm not gonna take food off your table. You probably got a wife and kids, man. I'm telling you, if I was agreed with what the establishment told me is true, I'd probably have a wife and kids now, too. So I have to live vicariously through you, guy who acts like you know it all. All right. As we see here, now this is cool. It'll be at its closest approach to Earth on January 7th. It'll be 0.469 astronomical units. And its distance from the sun will be 1337, which we all know means elite. And elite's better than being elite, because it means you get to be cool without all the elite bourgeoisie crap. All right, so closest to Earth, January 7th. Closest to the sun, January 29th, 2015. So we should be in for a pretty good show. As we can see clearly with our naked eyes as we look at our computer, Comet 2014 Q2 Lovejoy has an orbit that is way too big and way too long. It's very Sedna-esque. I got a question. If something is approaching from the bottom of our solar system, at what point do we consider it to have entered our solar system? You know? 
I guess technically, you could say that any point here or here. All right, let's find out when I enter our solar system. You know me, I get really excited about the prospect of a really cool Christmas comet, and then a bunch of shady shit happens. Space agencies pull our pants over our heads, punch us in the nads, steal our lunch money and run. So I'm kind of excited about this because nobody's talking about it. So that's cool, man. And I think we'll get a good view of it. We'll see though. The first thing that made me notice this story and this comet was the fact that NASA and professional space agencies and professional astronomers aren't talking about it at all. And B, the amateur astronomer photographs of it seem to be way, 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 way better than they were of Comet Ison, the Comet of the Century. So is this our new Comet of the Century? Remember, the century is pretty young, so, you know, like an interstellar firefly could fart out Comet, and that would be the Comet of the Century. You feel me, broista? That was like brother and sister put together, but it, it turned out make made me look stupid. If there's one thing I cannot stand, it's looking stupid. All right. So try and forget that. Erase that from memory. Erase the single time that Thor from Thor News looks stupid. Great. You're, you're, you're the best. Doom, 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 And you know me. I'm always doing my due diligence, homework, and research to make sure that I continue to make the best videos on the internets and the YouTube. So during today's research, I saw somebody has it listed at 5.8 magnitude of the last observation. So keep your eyes in the skies, and I'll stay on top of the story. Sweet. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S-1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 9. A. Nostradamus, baby. God bless everybody. I think it's pretty cool, pretty fascinating. I know a lot of people can be like, no way, you're lame, Nostradamus is lame, but you know what? Okay, later, peace out. Stay cool. All right then, word them up, word them out. I'm out, crap. Oh, hey, how you doing? I love you. I'm Captain Happy Comet Ice and Cupcakes, baby. Space underwear in your face, 